Hey, you can see how excited Roxy is, right? <laughs> About what might happen to Ivan. Kind of looks like all the animals at the, at the mall might, might be moving, do you think? Yeah, do you think so? Roxy's just really excited about that. So we keep reading to see what happens to Ivan. Huh. So reading 15, the first subtitle is called Click. The door to my cage is propped open. I can't stop staring at it. My door open? The giant box has been moved and it's open too. And the humans have pushed it up against my doorway. If I walk through the door, I enter their box. If I walk through my door, I enter their box. The zoo lady, whose name is Maya, is here again. Click, yogurt raisin. Click, tiny marshmallow. Click, ripe papaya. Click, apple slice. Hour after hour, click after click. I look over at Ruby. She waits to see what I will do. I touch the box. I sniff the dark interior where a ripe mango awaits. Click, click, click. I have to do it. Ruby's watching me from between the bars of her cage, and this box is the way out. I step inside. Whoa, that's exciting. The next subtitle is called An Idea. After I leave the box and step back, after I leave the box and step back into my cage, I get an idea, a good one. I tell Bob he can sneak into my box with me and live at the zoo. Have you forgotten? I'm a wild beast, Ivan, he says, sniffing the floors for crumbs. I'm untamed, undaunted. Bob samples a piece of celery and spits it out. Besides, they'd notice humans are dumb, but they're not that dumb. Hmm. Next subtitle is called Respect. Ivan, Ruby says, do you think the other elephants will like me? I think they'll love you, Ruby. You'll be part of their family. Do you think the other gorillas will like you, Ruby asks? I'm a silverback, Ruby, a leader. I pull back my shoulders and hold my head high. They don't have to like me. They have to respect me. Even as I tell her this, I wonder if I can ever command their respect. I haven't had much practice being a real gorilla, much less a silverback. Do you think the other elephants will know any jokes? If they don't, I tell her, you can teach them. Ruby flaps her ears. She flicks her tail. You know what, Ivan? What, I ask. I think I'm going to go in the box tomorrow. I gaze at her fondly. I think that's a good idea, and I think Stella would have agreed. Do you think the other elephants will know how to play tag? I love tag. Me too, I say, and I think of my nimble sister racing toward the brush, always just out of my reach. Next subtitle is called Photo. Late at night, Mac opens my cage. The moon falls out on his sagging shoulders. He seems smaller somehow. Bob instantly alert, leaps off my stomach and dives under not tag. Don't bother hiding dog, Mac says. I know you sleep in here. Mac settles onto my tire swing. Might as well stay one more night. Your buddy's leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow, my stomach drops. I'm not ready. I need more time. I haven't said my goodbyes. I haven't thought this through. Mac pulls a small photo out of his shirt pocket. It's me when I was young. Mac and I are in the front seat of his convertible. I'm wearing a baseball cap and eating an ice cream cone. I was a handsome lad, but I have to admit I look ridiculous. Nothing like a real gorilla. We had some laughs, didn't we, guy? Mac says. Remember when we went on the roller coaster or the time I tried to teach you to play basketball? Mac shakes his head, chuckling. You had a lousy jump shot. He stands, he sighs, he looks around. 
He puts the photo back in his pocket. I'm going to miss you, Ivan, he says. And then he leaves and he doesn't look back. Wow. Next subtitle is called Leaving. Early in the morning, Maya arrives with many other humans. Some have white coats, some have rustling papers. They are hushed, busy, determined. Ruby enters her box first. I'm scared, Ivan, she calls from inside the box. I don't want to leave you. A part of me doesn't want her to leave either, but I know I can't tell her that. Think of all the amazing stories you can share with your new family, I say. Ruby falls silent. I'll tell them your elephant joke, she says long after, after a long pause. The one about the refrigerator. I bet they'll like that. And be sure to tell them about Bob and Julia and me. And I clear my throat. And Stella. I'll remember everyone, Ruby says, especially you. And before I can say any more, they roll her cage out to a waiting truck. Bob is hiding in the corner behind my pool. The humans don't even notice him. While they're busy making sure my box is ready, Bob sneaks over. He licks my chin just in case there are any leftovers. You, I whisper, are the one and only Bob. I reach for not tag. She's a limp rag without her stuffing. Dribbles of paint cover her fur. I hold her out to Bob and he tilts his head confused. To help you sleep, I say. Bob takes her in his teeth and slips away. Next subtitle is called Good Boy. Good boy, good I good Ivan, good boy, Maya says when I lumber into her box. I hear the clicker, and I'm rewarded with a tiny marshmallow. And when I'm settled in, Maya gives me a sweet drink that tastes of mango and something bitter. My eyes grow heavy, and I want to see what happens next, but I'm sleepy, so sleepy. I dream I'm with Tag, and we're swing, swinging from vines while Stella watches. The sun slices through the thick ceiling of trees, and breeze tastes like fruit. Wow, next subtitle is called Moving. My eyes flutter open. The box is moving. I'm in the grumbling belly of something, some great beast. I fall back to sleep. <clears throat> Next subtitle is called Awakening. I awake to glass and steel. It's a new cage, unlike my old, not unlike my old cage, except that it's much cleaner. Maya's here and the other humans I recognize. Hey, hey there, Ivan, Maya says. He's coming too, guys. I have three walls of glass. The fourth wall is a curtain of wo wooden slats strung together. This doesn't look like the zoos on TV. Where are the other animals? Where are the gorillas? Is this where Ruby ended up? In a cage just like her old cage, still alone? Is she cold, hungry, sad? Is there anyone to tell her stories? when she can't get to sleep. Next subtitle is called Missing. I miss my old cozy cage. I miss my art. But most of all, I miss Bob. My belly is cold without him. Next subtitle is Food. The food is fine here. No soda, though, or cotton candy. Next subtitle is called Not Famous. I have no visitors here, no sticky fingered children or weary parents. Only Maya and her humans come with their soothing voices and soft hands. I wonder if I've stopped being famous. Hmm. Next subtitle, something in the air. Endless days pass and then I notice something, a change. I don't know what it is, but I taste it in the air, like far-off rain clouds gathering. Next subtitle is called A New TV. 
Maya brings me a TV. It's bigger than the old one. She turns it on. I think you're going to like this show, she says, smiling. I'm hoping for a romance or maybe a Western, but it's a nature show, one without human voices or ads. It's a show about gorillas being gorillas. I watch them eat and groom and play fight. I even watch them sleep. I wonder why Mac never put on this channel. Wow. That, my friends, is the end of reading 15. Hmm. What will happen to Matt or to Ivan in the place that he is at? Interesting. We will find out.